Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Pad 6 and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this device. So to get started, pull down your toggles by swiping down from the top of your screen, like so. And in here, we should have somewhere a screen recording toggle. Now if you don't see it right here, then you can swipe to the left and this will show you a second page, which contains additional toggles. And as you can see, first one here is the screen recording. I believe this is the default location of it, so you should probably find yours in the same exact place. Anyway, once you see this toggle, you can simply tap on it. It will bring you this overlay right here at the bottom, giving you four different options. First one being the record, which points out to it. Then we have a folder, which just takes you to the location uh, where you can find all, all your screen recordings. Next to that is the settings and then close. Now let's go into the settings first, which gives you a bunch of different options to tweak around here. Uh, I would probably recommend changing the frame rate to something a little bit more reasonable, like 60. I don't recommend going anything above 60, as this will take significantly more storage space while giving you not any kind of like massively noticeable differences. It caps at 90 only. Um, and that being said, if you're planning to record this and, for instance, upload it to YouTube, uh, YouTube only supports 60 anyway, so 90 only takes more space on your device while not even being utilized on YouTube. Anyway, uh, so I can close this now and let's click on this record button, which will then begin recording. Okay. Now, I did open up Netflix for a specific reason, which I'll showcase in a second once I stop the recording. So anyway, stop it. Oh, goodness, stop it. There we go. So once you record your video and stop it, which will automatically save it, you can then navigate to your gallery or that little folder icon. And as you can see, there is my screen recording. It will be visible under photos for some odd reason, but I believe we can also find it yep, under albums by going into screenshots and screen recordings. And here we have two different tabs. So we have screenshots and screen recordings. I'm gonna click on it. And obviously on this page, you will find all the screen recordings you have captured over some period of time that you've been using this device. So there we go. As you can see, it's now playing. I did mute it uh, because I didn't really want to hear myself. And uh, one thing that you'll see in a second is once Netflix loads up, it just gives you this. Absolutely nothing. A void of black screen. Amazing. Now, if you're wondering what is happening um, and if you ever encountered this before, uh, what is happening is Netflix has a little bit more control over your own device than you do. So it can do things that you have no control over. Fantastic, right? It makes you feel so nice about spending money on a device that basically blocks you from changing the settings that you want to change. So Netflix uh, basically bullshits their way into saying that it's for security reasons, uh, the blocking uh, screen recorder, but let's be honest, it's just for piracy, which is their own gain, not yours. Uh, so that's basically what is happening. Now, Netflix obviously won't be the only application that does this. Uh, basically, any streaming platform will do this because piracy bad. Let's be honest, anyone who pirates uh, any kind of like media content will probably do this regardless. And it's not like they're going to pay for the service, so it's kind of stupid, but whatever. Uh, I digress. Now, that being said, there are other applications that will be also affected by this, like bank applications, as an example. Now, those actually have a legitimate reason to block screen recorders. So if you have some malicious uh, application that is trying to screen pin uh, and just see what's happening, basically bank applications will block that from happening, which is good. Uh, so that would basically protect your bank account from being hacked. So. Yeah, a good example of this feature being used in a correct way. Obviously, you won't be able to record your bank uh, application if you wanted to, but it gives you some security. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video informative. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.